Hi, I'm Yvonne Pran from Effective Church Communications, and I am really excited to share with you this very brief Canva introduction and demo. What I'm going to do to show you initially how to use Canva is I'm going to show you how to modify a church newsletter. And don't use Microsoft Word for it. Use Canva. And here I have the before and after. Here is the before, a rather boring but functional and useful church a church or any newsletter template from Microsoft Word. And here, after just a few minutes of updating with Canva, look at the changes that you can make and how great it looks. So come with me to Canva and learn some really wonderfully easy ways to make your publications really look good. To sign up for Canva, all you do is just go to canva.com and follow the prompts. It's a very quick and easy sign up. You can sign up for a free account or you can sign up for the Canva Pro account. The Canva Pro account is free for churches if you apply through the Canva site. And again, just follow the prompts to do that. I'm not going to demonstrate that because that's a really simple and easy thing to do. But once you've done that, you then open up to this screen. Now, it is October 2022 when you're watching this and so Canva may have this entire announcement on your screen. I just click it out of the way. It tells you some of the neat new things that they're doing but a number of them are in beta so it's not even worth looking at right now. What I want to do is just give you a quick and easy introduction to Canva and as with all of the demos that I do it with the Effective Church Communications Canva demos I'm going to show you something that you would actually do in your church. Now, what we're going to do here is something that is so neat, and that is we are going to modify a newsletter that's in Microsoft Word. Here is the newsletter in Word, and it's it's just such a pain in the neck. How do you, you know, you can uh, change the text fairly easily, but if you want to change the picture, it's it's just really not very easy to do, and you you, you can't move stuff around and if you want to change colors it's just it's just so frustrating now i have used word for forever it seems like ever since literally ever since it was invented and i love it for word processing and things like that but for any kind of layout it's just a pain in the neck but let me show you what you can do with this very same template from microsoft word when you load it up into Canva. Here we are in Canva and what all you need to do is just click up here see where it says create a design click on that and see where it says import file. Now we go to blue newsletter template I saved it and it loads up in your Canva account and here we have it ready to work on it. Now sometimes this obnoxious box pops up and it sometimes takes a few clicks and then you get rid of it. Okay here we are on our template. Now as you can see the uh, type didn't come in exactly correctly but that's okay because we um, we want to change that anyway. Let's change it to something like church updates. If we want to change the typeface all you have to do is click on it select all just like you would any other program. Now, by the way, uh, there are many, many templates also in Canva that you could use. I'm just going to close this down and hide them for this demonstration. But if we wanted to change the typeface, we just go up here to the typeface name and there are many different ones that come up. Um, when you see the little crown, that is the pro, so you would have to have that for that particular typeface. Let me just see if what something like this looks like. It's just a little bit um, of sort of a different, more decorative one. That's actually kind of nice. I, I really sort of like that for a church header. So I want it though to fill up more of the space. So I'm going to hold on to this little handle and just pull it and increase the size of it. And then you can just grab it and center it. And there we are with our header. Now, I yeah, I, I, I like that. Okay, what I'm going to do here where it says newsletter date, I think what I'm going to do is just say 
I'm going to say fall update and then I'm actually going to change this to a very standard but easy to read typeface that I use quite a bit and that's Lato. This is um, and actually I'm going to use bold because it's up here and makes it a little bit easier to read. Now if I want to increase the size again I could just pull on the box or I can go up here and do that and let me just make it a little bit larger. I'm saying I'm calling this fall update but these aren't very fall looking colors so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the images in it and from the images I'll then change the colors so let me go here one of the things for your images that this is just so wonderful is many of you are already familiar with Pixabay and Pexels. These are the sites that you have copyright free images that you can download, use however you want to. What's really great is Canva has them where it's just right within Canva. And so you can click on it and then up here just type in, let's just type in fall and we have a marvelous selection of images. So let's go ahead and put something else up in the header here. We have that oh, we have that selected. Now you see whenever you have this purple line around something that means it's selected. Now here's what you can do with images in Canva and again this is so great. First of all you just click backspace and that gets rid of the one image and see whenever you see this sort of looking little thing that's what Canva calls a frame and what you can do is you can drop anything then into that frame and it will size it perfectly within that. This is a really pretty image let's go ahead and we just click on this and it will go over into our whatever our document is and now you can just move it up to oh isn't that pretty um, you just move it up to the box and boom it sizes it just perfectly in the box. Now if you want to move the image around a little bit you just click on that and if I wanted to make that pretty little leaf better or maybe I want this let's see how that looks. Nope I like that big leaf showing better. Let's move it down there and there we go. I just love that. I think that's really pretty. Let's put something now down here and I'm going to hit again backspace. So now let's get something actually with a person in it. So let's click on this one and then again it comes into our document. We just pull it down and boom there we're at. Now we have two very nice images but the colors are all off. They just you know that blue doesn't go with the images. So this is one of the really wonderful things again with Canva. Here's what you can do. We're going to go up to this blue box that surrounds the header and you see here the blue box appears up here in the corner. Now <laughs> watch this. This is really cool. You click on color and then look at this. Canva has just within seconds pulled out the main colors of the document. And this is just great because then you can make everything coordinate with what you're doing in whatever publication you're working on. So let's just go ahead and select this. Now doesn't that look nicer? Look what happens when I click on this section. I want to change the blue down there. Now it um, not only did it select the blue but it also selected the gray. Now why it did this I don't know but I'm not going to complain. Let's go up to the blue color and again here we have all of our different colors. Let's pick a different color though just kind of to see how this might you know let me just pick this one. Ooh, that looks nice um, and the darker type looks good in that but then now for the gray down here you can see that doesn't really go so you just can click on the gray up here and let's go ahead and do the beige. Now isn't that prettier? Now the only other thing we need to do is we need to change the color of our type from the blue. So again we just click on it and then to change the color of text you go up to the letter and then here again our same colors come up. Let's go ahead and pick this nice warm brown. See how that looks. Oh that looks very nice. And let's do that for this one also. And then in and here that made it for some reason that made it go down two lines. All you have to do is just pull that little bar over and that's that. And then here let's pick out 
maybe this dark grayish color, whatever. Um, and uh, let's just say fall event. Here's what you can do then with putting in your own text. Now, one thing about Canva, and I'm hoping that they're going to change it when they do this additional update, is it's not the greatest for handling text. What I like to do is I like to create my text in Microsoft Word and then copy and paste it into Canva. Now I'm just going to use dummy text and show you what happens when you have something that's a little bit longer or um, or whatever. Now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just get rid of this text block. I'm going to just click the little trash can. That's what you do when you want to get rid of anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a Microsoft Word file that I've downloaded with the Lauren Ibsum, just dummy text. And then I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to paste it. We like that size of the text so we're going to edit it to fit. You could make it smaller, but that might make the words hard to read. And I'm not in this particular lesson going to really show you how to um, all the different things that you can do with text. But we do want to change the color of it. So we're going to go back up and make it the same color as the header. Here, this is something I want you to notice with um, with Canva is it doesn't really space the text maybe as well as I would like it to be spaced. But there are trade-offs. I'm hoping in their, in their next update that they will. But you definitely want to have your type what's called rag right. Because if you don't, let me select all this. If you try to justify your type and you can go up here to alignment look at what happens when you justify it. The spacing is just way off. Um, Canva is not the best at handling type overall, but it's acceptable if you go back to the rag right. I just put some dummy text in this first column. Let me show you some other things you can do with Canva. This it can, it'll sometimes come in just on whatever spacing it wants to. But here's something that I really like with Canva is what you can do is you can go up to this little icon up here where it says spacing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up the line spacing. You just move it down a little bit and look at here. See how much nicer it lays out and it fits into the box. Now, if you want to see exactly what it is so that you could make this the same, this is 11.2. Let's just click on this and we can make it 11.2. Okay, this is now the same size, but the spacing is different. So click on this and then you go up there again to the spacing. It's 1.61. Click on this. It's the same. We just got rid of some of the text because that's what we decided to do uh, just in this demonstration. Now there are so many things that you, so many additional things you could do with Canva. Let's say we wanted to put a caption below this picture. We could just move it up and you know again this would be next to impossible to do in Microsoft Word. And to add text you just go to the text button over here and say a subhead and or you could click text or it doesn't really matter because you can change it around just um, walk with us in our fall devotional and if you wanted to space that down just a little bit you could move it down whatever you want to do and there you have a caption for your picture that looks a little bit big actually I think for a caption and so I'm going up here just taking it down just a little bit you could continue to modify pages, uh, change your quotes, change the colors, just do all kinds of things, whatever you would want to do with your newsletter. When you're ready to print it out, all you have to do is just go up here to share. Since this is an 8.5 by 11, you can just uh, download it 
and you can do it into a PDF or a PDF. Uh, it's for, if you're going to be putting something on your website, you could do it. This is lower resolution. It's a smaller file size. If you want to print it out for your church, you could. I would highly recommend that you do the PDF print and the standard for the web and things like that. But this is just a very short introduction to Canva. Just a few of the things that it can do. I will be showing you many many, many more tutorials on it. But just as a review, here we have our original newsletter. Um, it's, it, you know, it's okay. It was a, you know, Microsoft template, but kind of blah. But look at what we've come up with just in a few clicks, a few minutes of changes. We've made a really beautiful newsletter with just a few clicks with Canva. So um, you could put this on your website. You could print it out for your church. Just whatever you want to do you have a professionally designed beautiful newsletter ready to go for more strategy resources and links to free templates go to www.effectivechurchcom.com and be sure to subscribe to this youtube channel for updates whenever the videos come out and may the lord bless you give you strength joy and peace as you serve him today in church communication